Want to be the king of Smash Bros in your friend group? Want to be the guy who knows how to do crazy combos to get around Ike's forward smash? Then this is the video for you. This video goes through the basics of how to get better at any Super Smash Bros game and can be applied to almost any fighter game. I am a rising competitive Super Smash Bros Melee and Smash 4 player. I go by the tag Bad Dog. I have played at a competitive level for almost 2 years now and I've learned a lot from my experience. Now, I know there are several videos out there that have gone over this topic, but none have tried to make it easy enough for anyone to understand. I'm going to tell you about some of the best steps I have taken to improve. Step 1. Know your moves. This is perhaps the biggest point. I cannot stress this enough. If you don't know all the basic moves in the game, you won't know every option you can choose. When broken down, Super Smash Bros is very logical. The more options you know you can do, the better you can play. The more damage you can do, the easier it is to take the opponent's stock. Know that the common moves are jabs, tilts, smash attacks, jumps, double jumps, aerials, shield, grab, special moves, and recovery. The next step to take is to choose a specific character. Each of these general moves are important in their own way, but choosing a character and figuring out what makes them different from everyone else is crucial to your understanding of this game. The first thing you should learn about your character is their recovery. The longer you live, the more of a chance you'll have to win. Learn what best works for your character to recover. Most can use up B to recover, but some have several different things they can do to recover besides up B, whereas others only rely on double jumps. So test out your character and see the different options they have. Next is combos. Start off simple, don't try to rush it as it takes away all the fun. Try to figure out what your character can and can't do. Each character has different frame data, or how long it takes a move to start, how long it takes the move to last, and how long the move takes to end, also known as ending lag. Most smash attacks have more ending lag than jabs or tilts, so smash attacks aren't typically used for combos, whereas tilts and fast aerial attacks are. Next is stages. Knowing the layout of a stage can give you an advantage over your opponent. But if you have a favorite stage that you like to play on, competitive or not, I would highly suggest practicing your moves on that stage as you will have more fun with the practice. As Sue Stoney said in her study, interactive multimedia for adult learners can learning be fun. One of the best ways to learn is to provide an environment capable of immersing the students in an enjoyable experience. See, this game at its core is just a giant game of fast paced rock, paper, scissors, but replace rock with shield, paper with grab, and scissors with attack. Rock, or shield, beats out attack, meaning if your opponent attacks your shield, you can either hit them or grab them in the leg that comes after they hit you. Grab, or paper, beats someone who sits in their shield all day, as the opponent can always be grabbed whether they are in shield or not. Lastly, paper, or grab, is beaten out by scissors, or attack. There's a study about how poker should be played called Some Two-Person Games Involving Bluffing. And whereas bluffing was an important aspect in the study, it turns out that wasn't the best way to win. The study suggests a fundamental theorem that any two-player game can be simplified if it is known in advance that one of the players has a good pure strategy. Take away the poker aspect and this can be applied to Super Smash Bros as well. Say the other player plays Ike and they like to forward smash and you run into their sword sandwich. Their strategy is simple. They know how to use smash attacks and you run into them. The problem with this strategy overall is that smash attacks have a ton of what we talked about earlier, ending lag. So the strategy to beat this strategy is to wait for them to throw a smash attack and then punish them with a quicker attack of your own. This is all fine and dandy, but say you already knew all this stuff. Say you got the basics down and you can beat all your friends. Once you get to a more competitive level, there are options such as... Wave dashing, wave landing, DI mix ups, ledge cancels, reverse needle cancels, wave shines, shield drops, shine cancels, super wave dash, extended grapple, teching, L cancel, voodoo dash, auto cancel, shino stalling, wall jumps, chain grabs, rest setups, shield break, wombo combo wobble. Can I have a few? But I digress. If you take in the basics and learn how to apply them, this game becomes something else entirely and has unbelievable amounts of depth to it. In short, if this was all new to you, just follow the steps that I have provided above and you should see multiple improvements in your game. Thanks for watching.